Well, all call are just about done. We're down to the very final details of this truck. It's a 95 Cummins automatic 2500. Uh, I put a flat deck on, as you can tell. It's got a gooseneck, 26,000 pound gooseneck. Some storage boxes, had the box painted. I still have uh, a stereo and an antenna yet to come. I get fan mail, seems like every day from Amazon. And uh, just waiting for that to arrive so I can get the last little bits. But this is a, a restoration again that I just love to do these projects. Um, not that there's an unlimited budget, but I sold that truck over there. And that's gonna make, uh, it'll, it'll more than pay for this truck. Um, for the restoration. So I put a late model front differential in it. This is out of a 2000 and of course I had it apart, changed the axle seals and checked the crown and pinion and side carrier bearings and all that. All the ball joints, axle joints, uh, flex hoses, rotors, pads, calipers, wheel bearings, even control arms are new. The bolts that hold the control arms in place are new. New front universal joint, new pinion seal, um, every light bulb in this truck has been replaced. New windshield, new windshield wipers, new headlights, new grill, new radiator, new transmission cooler lines, new tires, new paint, boxes, uh, new airbag suspension in the back to level the, level the load. I do plan to carry a significant weight in my dump trailer, which is uh, over there. You can see where that is. That'll hold a quart of wood. And green wood's about 4,000 pounds or so, plus a 1,200-pound trailer. I used to tow it behind one of my Volkswagen trucks, either that one or, or that one, and it's just too heavy for those lighter trucks. Even though they're a one ton, they're just, uh, you just need something more substantial. So I have a new trailer hitch. It's the Kurt Extra Heavy Duty, and it's uh, it's got quite a, a payload, 16,000 pound and a 24,000 pound, or 2,400 pound tongue weight, um, which is plenty. Oodles and oodles and oodles. And in that door there is my gooseneck ball. It's a 2 and 5 16 gooseneck ball. Now mind you, I've never towed with a gooseneck before. I don't even have a gooseneck trailer, but it comes with the trailer, so I figured I'd put it in and torque it up. Uh, the lights are all wired up. I had it on a few maiden voyages. I might have 100 kilometers on it. I just filled it up with fuel. Um, had to fix the fuel gauge. I had tons of wiring to fix. It had a dash fire. I still have seat covers to come. I bought some factory seat covers to put on it and I'll have to get this foam rebuilt on this uh, side bolster here or the side piece here um, but everything else works I put a new brake controller in it now this is a, a four-wheel drive um, center axle disconnect manual it's got a cable that will allow you to lock the front axle or unlock it as you need to and the trick behind that is I can use too low it says four low of course but if you don't gauge that front axle then your transfer case allows you to drive around in what I call slow motion, so you don't wreck any, um, you don't wreck anybody's lawn in four-wheel drive. So, anyway, I'm thrilled with the way it runs. It uh, drives and shifts and stops and starts and does everything it's supposed to do. Just great. I had, had the bumper off, restored the plastics, um, got a good storage box on this side. This is a, a buyer's box, buyer's being the brand, and it holds my air compressor and my booster pack. And uh, there's room there for a little more odds and ends. And stake body. So I'm going to build a, a wooden stake body for it. There's three 10 millimeter washers that just lasted uh, a drive to my shop and back. Uh, it's got a four inch stainless steel exhaust. And what else can I tell you about it? The other box is, uh, is just a little bit more, a little smaller, just because the fuel filler neck is here. And uh, this box here is. That'll carry my lunch. It's <laughs> about it. Anyway, uh, it was a very fun project. I'm glad I got involved with it, and uh, I'm glad I started and finished it. And it took me about a month and a half, and that's a ton of time, hours, nights, weekend, and probably more time than money. Because, uh, but I've got a fair amount of money in it, but it's not a crazy, man. I even detailed the fender liners, took them out and painted them, and just got the overspray rubbed off of them from the last body job. Uh, the guy that painted this body, uh, the cab on this, he just did a spectacular job. He did it for exactly the amount of money he said it was going to cost, and uh, it took exactly how long he said it would take. He just, it was just spectacular, and the paint turned out 
just about showroom quality. I probably Dodge didn't uh, do as good a job on this as, as he did. So anyway, well, I think that's about all I can say about that. Um, I don't know if there's going to be too many more updates on that. I might get some video sawmilling coming up. I might get some firewood processing videos. But I really appreciate you watching these videos. And if it's something that you're interested in seeing again, by all means, feel free to subscribe. I'd appreciate that. Helping the channel grow would be good. And uh, give me a thumbs up and even comment if you've got any questions about this old girl or anything else that I'm up to. So anyway, over and out. Thanks, everybody.